Hello, you guys. My name's Timster from Tim Foldery Gaming, and welcome to pretty much a birthday unboxing vlog, as you can see here and down here. We're gonna open some boxes, uh, but it is technically my birthday. Well, tomorrow, the June 29th, is my birthday. I got this for my birthday a couple days early, like yesterday, and I wanted to make a vlog about it today. So, if I haven't confused you yet, then. Let's jump right into the Power Rangers Legacy Blade Blaster and some Power Ranger Morpher uh, coaster thingies that I bought both at GameStop. So for right now, we've got the box for the Legacy Blade Blaster. I forgot what year specifically this came out, but I do remember having this as a kid with the original Power Morpher. The last memory I have with it was chasing my sister she was blasting me with the power morpher i was trying to blast her with the blade blaster but th that was over at my grandmother's house and that's the last time i saw the blade blaster power morpher i lost that a little bit after that but that's like the oldest memory i have so i'm glad they did a legacy re-release or rather recreation of the original blade blaster and it looks awesome in the box Everything looks green. I forgot what the box originally looked like. It had the same green, like, dark green up here, light green down here, lightning, like, right in the middle here. I forgot how it looked, but, you know, if it looked anything like this, then they got it pretty accurate. Like, pretty close to the original. Now, let's see if we have anything on the side. Not really. Uh, if you remember my Legacy Megazord toys that I got from GameStop, they had a little story on the side of the boxes, like, this side here and this side here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have anything this time for a story, so... I mean, how much could you say about the Power Ranger sidearm, I guess? Uh, but if we look on the back here, we can see, like, how it's supposed to look outside the box, plus, plus the different modes it can turn into. Right up here is the holster mode, which is how it looks whenever the Rangers aren't using their firearms or sidearms, whatever you want to call this. Down here would be the blade mode, which is usually the first form of weaponry they take before upgrading to either the blaster or the power weapons and right over here is the full blaster and like you know it's full blaster mode <laughs> uh, pretty nice all around I don't remember yeah I don't remember if the original even had let's wow wrong way <laughs> this mode right here I think it was only the gun and blade and even then I remember the blade being a little bit different from what it shows right down here so I'm not sure uh, I'll remember this was back in like 94, 95. I was just barely a couple years old, so I didn't even know what anything really was. Uh, but aside from, you know, the gold shiny leathering, let's see if you can see it lined up. There we go, yeah. That little shininess with the letters, my arms are right here. And they're kind of bulging out a bit, so that's kind of a, I guess a nice touch. Because <laughs> it makes it look more official, it looks really good. The whole packaging looks pretty good, I gotta admit. So, not much to show about the packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up, which admittedly I did open up already. <laughs> but I didn't really do too much more with it other than just kind of take it out, look at it, make sure it wasn't damaged or anything. And here we are. Put the box aside nice and neatly. And so we get this little cardboard thing that it comes in. Plus what's kind of neat is its own separate like plastic interior. Just so it kind of keeps the blaster safe and everything. Plus on the front, it's got like this extra plastic layer on top. I thought that's kind of nice to kind of keep it nice, clean, secure, safe, for the most part. <laughs> and just looks nice in the packaging, but, you know, what more can we say about plastic? But this is what we really, really wanted. The Legacy Power Blaster outside the box. And it's, I don't know if I want to say it's smaller than I thought it would be. It kind of, I don't know, I thought I have some kind of nostalgic feeling since I owned the original one back in the day, but I think it's because I had like few, too few many memories with it. So I actually don't remember what the original was like, how it felt or anything like that. I think I remember up here being mostly red and just saying Power Rangers and genetic lettering. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. I can't really zoom in. It says Power Rangers in the typical format that should for the show. So it's more show accurate than it used to be. And like I said, if this was originally red where it's white now, you know, they turned it white to make it look more accurate to the show. Which is why I love the Legacy toy line. Simply because 
you know, show accuracy. Now, of course, there are some die-cast metal parts. Like, tip of the barrel right here is nice and shiny and metal. Wish I could bring my camera closer. I'm using the webcam this time instead of my phone. So I can't really bring it closer without stretching the cord too much and just unplug it from my computer. But yeah, I think you guys can kind of see the reflectiveness of the metal. I don't know if this specifically, the, the claws or uh, spikes up here, down here, or the gun barrel or teeth here are actually die-cast metal, but I know they're a nice chrome shiny metal. And honestly, it looks pretty nice. Now, as the box said, there are two additional modes. So, pull back on the head. There is a little tiny button. Let's see if you guys can see. Maybe not. It kind of like right here, you might be able to see it. Press down, lift up, and you got the holster mode for the power blaster. Very basic. Can't complain too much. But now there is a special button. I don't know if you guys can see this might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, right there. All you have to do is push in. Oh. And kind of <laughs> flick the blade in place and you get the full blade mode. And honestly, I really like it. Like, especially the detail on the blade itself. How it's all red. I'm pretty sure this is diecast metal. I could be wrong. But I remember the original Blade Blaster feeling really flimsy, kind of... Not really weak, but definitely had a more plastic feel where you could, like, bend it. This one, not much. I mean, you can bend it kind of, but not to the extent of the original one. But honestly, it looks really cool. And there, of course, there is an on and off switch. You guys probably can't see this one, but it's on the back of the handle. I'm sure you guys heard that one. And it does come with, like, different kinds of sound effects for, like, slashing. And if you hold down the button, let's see. Yeah! It's got the MMPR theme song and everything. Let's see if it comes with the actual lyrics. Give it a few seconds. Probably shouldn't, though. Copyright. It might just be the tune. Alright. So we do got the lyrics for the theme song, and that's awesome. But now... With it still on, let's go back to blade or blaster mode. Wow, can't get my modes right. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now let's give it a quick test run. All right. Ooh. All right, we got to test out just a few more times. Nice. I wonder how many times can it fire. Ah, so you can only shoot it like five times in a row, and then it'll kind of remember with explosions how many shots you fired. So, so if we were to shoot it twice, like so, it remembers the two shots and gives us explosion shots for, you know, making contact. So that is actually pretty nice. Uh, I don't remember if the original came with lights and sounds. I know... Actually, no, I don't even remember if it came with sounds at all. So I'm happy this one does. I do kind of wish it came with some kind of lights. I don't really want to point the barrel at the camera. But at the very front, within the barrel, it's just... Like, the very tip of it is painted black. There are no lights or anything. So it's just sounds, which do sound pretty good. i not going to lie there. I mean... Not the best, not the worst. I've heard worse, so... I definitely love the sounds for it. The detail is very accurate to the show for the most part. I can't see anything too wrong with it unless you're nitpicky and go with, Oh yeah, but the Japanese version they said Kiryu says a Zoo Ranger and they use Japanese, but yeah, yeah, I get that. But for the American version, for American Power Rangers, this is pretty accurate, so I can't lie about that. Uh, otherwise, aside from the fact that I wish there were more, I wish there were lights in general, it's not bad, and I do love it for what it is. I think that's pretty cool. Like, it would have been nice if the eyes right up here for the T-Rex or the Raptor or whatever it is. I don't know if you guys can see it, like, right up here. It would be nice if those were, like, lit up yellow or something. I think that would be kind of cool. So if you guys are familiar with my vlogs in terms of Power Rangers stuff, you know we got the Legacy Thunderswords last time for, like, kind of like a tax refund haul, so to speak. And you know, we got the Legacy Dragon Dagger. So let's go ahead and compare the two. Where is it? Somewhere back here? Am I holding upside down? No, I'm not. Here it is! Compare them side by side standing up. Wow, okay. 
Yeah, was not expecting this, but the Blade Blaster is actually longer than the dagger. I mean, I guess that makes sense, all things considered, but like, if they were both daggers, I would expect like, I don't know. I expect the, the Dragon Dagger to be at least a bit longer, but it's not bad. They look pretty nice going like side by side together. What do you guys think? Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> Especially if I cosplay as, like, the Red Mario Ranger, I can use them both as, like, you know, say, Super Mario Ranger had the Dragon Shield, so I've got both sidearms right with me. The only thing that would make this even cooler is if I had the Legacy Power Sword. That's gonna cost an arm and a leg to get. I thought you were off. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get that anytime soon, otherwise it'll look pretty good with the Dragon Dagger, but as is, it's not bad. Oh, now you're shorter, okay. <laughs> Uh, but of course, as you saw at the beginning, we do have one more thing to show off. I don't know if you guys can really see it too well, but we got some Power Morpher coasters. This was $15 at GameStop. The Blade Blaster was... It said the price was $70, closer to $80, but they've had it for a while, so the price should be closer to $60. My parents gave me a gift card, so I was able to get it for pretty much just $15, all things considered. So... Actually, yeah, 15 each. That's like 30 all around. Yeah, not bad. Now, for these coasters, I didn't take them out until now, but I saw these at GameStop and I had to get them. Just look at this. They're, they look exactly, well, maybe not exactly, exactly, but they look similar enough to the regular Power Morphers and it looks really cool. I don't know if it's the exact, like, size. Probably not, but not bad. So, we've got the Tyrannosaurus right here. We've got the pterodactyl, oh, not pterodactyl, <laughs> Sabertooth Tiger right here, pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna try to keep them on the plastic for now. These are ceramic, they do feel very nice. They're ceramic, right? Make sure I got that right. Yep, ceramic. So I'll make sure they're nice and neat before I actually do start using them. Uh, we've got the Mastodon here. Oh, wait, not Mastodon, Triceratops. Why can't I get my dinosaurs right? I think since I'm just looking at them really quickly and not like paying attention. But now that I think about it, these are in the opposite order of how they would morph. So, if I were to start from the bottom, it would be Pterodactyl. Actually, no, that's not even in the right order. Crud? Nah, I'm not. I can't complain. Alright, so ignoring any kind of... Oh. Well, let's say ignoring any kind of whatever I was trying to say. You know, these look really nice. Except for the Mastodon. I don't know if you guys can see it where my uh, finger is right here. Probably not. It's kind of, kind of scuffed up, but not really. Heh, <laughs> looks, like looks like I'm trying to morph. <laughs> I like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it kind of looks like the paint was a little bit scuffed there. Just a little tiny bit. Uh, I'm not going to complain too much. It still looks nice. And let's see. Pterodactyl right here. Yeah, I know that's everyone's favorite right there. Uh, it does not come with the Dragon Sword or the Tiger Sword, which, you know, I'm not entirely disappointed with that. It's just a matter of, you know, Core 5, they're more iconic. So they're going with those for basic designs, especially for coasters. All in all, these really aren't bad. They've got a nice, like, cardboard back to them so you can put them down nice and neatly, and they won't, like, scuff the table, nor will any services scuff them up too much. Uh, I haven't actually put any drinks on these. Like I said, this is the first time I'm opening them, like, after I bought them. I don't know how they're going to look or how they're going to be when you put an actual cup on them. It should be fine. I can't imagine the paint or markings or anything to, like, you know, fade away right away. It's possible they will with continual use, but, you know, they're coasters. That's what they're for. But still, not bad. They are... In the box, they were all really heavy when they were together. They had some really nice weight to them. So, yeah, if you were to lift one up, it doesn't feel too much. But if you were to stack them all together, yeah. Definitely has some weight to it. All five right together. Doesn't really say what company made these, but whoever did, very nice. Very nicely detailed. Very well created. Again, aside from the minor scuff marks on the Mastodon coaster, uh... I'm not too terribly disappointed with them. In fact, I'm honestly highly impressed. Uh, like I said, I got the Blade Blaster from GameStop. I got the coasters from GameStop as well. 15 for the coasters. 60 for the Blade Blaster, but I got a gift certificate, so I wasn't too 
wasn't crying too badly about the price there. Uh, overall, I like the Blade Blaster, I like the coasters, everything is really, really cool. So yeah, as I said in my last vlog, and again in this one, I'm going to Kineticon with my bro Justin. He's going to be the Green Luigi Ranger, I'm going to be the Red Mario Ranger. Definitely bringing this Blade Blaster with me, though I don't know how I'm going to get past weapons check. The tip isn't painted orange, and the tip isn't orange at all. Uh, maybe I could use orange tape and get it through, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to try to bring this. Justin's going to bring the Legacy Dragon Dagger, it's going to look really cool. And we're just going to have fun at Kineticon, so that's going to be, at the time of this recording, it's Friday, June 28th. I want to say Kineticon is two weeks from now, so I'll be around next week, the week after, like the weekend after, I'm not going to be here. Speaking of Kineticon, I think it would be a good idea to show you guys kind of a sneak preview of what's going to look like when I cosplay as the Red Mario Ranger, if you haven't seen it already. So without further ado, let's use the coaster. See if it works. It's morphin' time! And Blade Blaster! Alright, yeah. So this is pretty much what's gonna look like with me at Kineticon. Helmet, blaster, probably a morpher, definitely, just not this one. That will look kinda cool on my waist or something. Uh, but yeah. The idea is to have... The idea is just to kinda have it like this. Either, you know, in this mode, in blade mode, or otherwise it's going to be in blaster mode. Transform one more time. Either way, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely excited. Hopefully I can get this through security. Or, not really security, but weapons check. I'm not sure if I'll be able to or not. But if I can, it'll look pretty cool. <sighs> otherwise, we're just going to have a lot of fun. I can't wait to go back into action, basically. <laughs> So with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Again, not too much of a haul, but still, I felt like it was something worth sharing with you guys. You know, talking about the coasters, the Blade Blaster, a little tiny bit of Kineticon, and just overall saying happy birthday to me. And the only thing I want from anybody is pretty much either nothing at all, or just for you guys to go out and enjoy your day in my behalf at least. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you really like what you saw, please feel free to hit that like button. Things down there somewhere, maybe. I don't know. And if you had any favorite parts, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, my name's Tipster from Tim Fullery Gaming, and we will see you guys later. Take care.